Hello everybody and welcome back to On The Creek. My name is Justin and today we're going to be talking about fillet knives. We're going to talk about what knives that I use and uh, what knives that I suggest and uh, just all around what I think about fillet knives in general. So stay tuned for that. And if you like gear reviews, tips and trick videos like this one, and fishing videos, then you're in the right place and I suggest you hit that subscribe button below and turn on the bell so you're notified when we post new content. We're trying to post new content weekly. It's getting a little hard, guys, so if you have any suggestions, leave it in the comments below. So, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so today we're going to talk about fillet knives. I get a lot of questions, especially from people that are new to fishing, as to what type of fillet knife to use and what I use. So we're going to go over what my theory is on fillet knives in general. So let's start off with what I use on the day to day. This right here, and actually this is the same uh, knife right here is a Kershaw fillet knife that I bought at Walmart for $20. It is uh, extremely sharp. I keep my knives extremely sharp. That's one of the most important things uh, that I can tell you about a fillet knife is you want to keep it razor, razor sharp. The sharper the knife, the better job you're going to do cleaning the fish. So that's, that's the key. The hardest part is keeping your knife sharp. And with a high-quality knife, that actually becomes easier because the steel is better. With the lower grade knife, then you're gonna have a little more of a hard time. So that's something that you need to think about when you're deciding what type of knife to purchase. Okay, so this Kershaw, I actually have some, some specs here on my phone. Uh, this is uh, an ABS seeth knife, which is, this seeth here is ABS plastic. Uh, it has a flexible blade, and it is 420J2 with a satin finish steel. Uh, its handle is copolymer. Uh, blade length is 7 inches. Overall length is 22.25 inches. Uh, weight is 3.3 .3 ounces. And uh, weight with the seeth is uh, 4.7 ounces. All right, so for you people that are metric, uh, blade length is 17.8 centimeters. Uh, overall length is 31.1 centimeters. Uh, it's 96 grams and 135 grams with the seeth. So there's your, your specs. It cost me $20 at Walmart. Uh, I did purchase this one from Walmart. Uh, it's black. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and you know what? It's done me just fine. I bought this for my wife. It is the same knife. It's just blue. Um, it is the same length, same steel, uh, and you know what? It gets the job done. This is really my workhorse knife. This is the knife that I go to when I'm doing 99% of my filleting. Um, I am a bank fisherman, but I am a more or less catch and release fisherman. I don't keep a lot of fish throughout the year. I don't eat a whole lot of fish throughout the year. Uh, if I'm eating fish, usually it's cod. There's no cod around here, but I will keep panfish. I will eat trout and salmon, which are species of fish that can be caught here in my part of Michigan, at least the panfish. I don't have to travel very far to get where I can get trout and salmon. So, a matter of fact, there's steelhead running right now, and I'm thinking about trying to do that for the first time. So we'll see if a video comes of that. So back to fillet knives. This Kershaw knife is my go-to knife. It's super flexible. You know, you can really get in there and fillet what you need to fillet. And it does an overall good job. And it costs $20. Uh, 
The one downfall I have with this knife is it has to be sharpened regularly because the steel is decent steel, but it's not top quality steel. This right here is my Ozark Walmart discount knife. It cost me $5. It's steel isn't very good. It doesn't hold its sharpness very good, but you can get it sharp and it can fillet some fish. Um, generally, this knife itself is my truck knife. This is the knife that I keep in my truck that I know one day I'm going to do something dumb and whittle a stick with it or I'm going to, you know, cut something that I probably shouldn't be cutting with it. But it costs five dollars and it's in my truck and if I needed to flay something real quick, I could absolutely get it done on the tailgate with this. You know, and it sharpens, sharpens, sharpens. When it stops holding an edge, I'm just going to get rid of it and get a new one. Um, the nice thing about it, though, is it's got a rubber handle. Uh, being that it's my field knife or my field fillet knife, uh, it's nice that the, the grip on the handle is good, and that's why I like this knife for my field knife. Now, this is good, too, and it has a little bit of rubber grip, but when your hand gets slimy with this and you don't have water around or a running faucet around, it's a little harder to hold on to, and man, these knives, I keep them super sharp. It'll go right down to the bone if I, if I cut my hand. So I like this knife because I can hold on to it even when my hands are wet, slimy, dirty, muddy, grimy. So that's why I keep this knife the way I do. Now, I don't own any high-end fillet knives. Um, I've used them before, and uh, you know what? The, the difference that you're going to get with the high-end fillet knife is all about sharpness. You're going to be able to get it more sharp, and it's going to stay sharp longer. I don't know, a more sharp a word? You're going to be able to really refine that edge. Let's leave it at that. So it'll be a more sharp knife, and it'll hold its sharpness longer. And that can be very important for some people. But if you've really watched some of my videos, you know that I'm all about the budget, and I'm all about people who get into fishing for the first time don't need to be millionaires. You, you don't have to spend $100 on a fillet knife. You don't have to spend $50 on a fillet knife. You can spend $5 on a fillet knife and fillet a fish. Chances are, when you're learning to fillet fish, you don't want a super high-end knife because you're probably going to ding it up. You're going to slip, you're going to miss, you're going to hit your tailgate, you're going to, you know, unless you're on a, a cutting board, which, I don't know, I've probably filleted more fish on the tailgate of my pickup truck than I've ever filleted on a countertop in a kitchen. And you know what, when you're first learning how this little $5 fillet knife, you know, you fillet the fish and you sharpen it as much as you can. When it stops holding an edge, you get rid of it. If you're the type of person that just doesn't know how to sharpen a knife, but you still want to fish, you still want to fillet fish, you still want to eat your own fish that you caught out of the river. There you go. Fillet with it. When it gets dull and you, you try and put edge on it, if you ruin it trying to put edge on it, $5. Buy a new one. Now, if you want to step up your game a little bit, I really do recommend these Kershaw knives from Walmart. They do a really good job. And uh, you know what? I'm fairly happy with it. Uh, this one, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but there's a little bit of rust marks on here from it sitting in the water too long. So it's not stainless. Um, if I were to buy a high-end knife, I'd be more worried about it being stainless steel. Um, you know what, though? Like I said, I, I don't really have the need for a high-end knife. I don't really keep a whole lot of fish. I might keep fish two or three times a year for myself. And then sometimes I fish with friends and family and we'll keep them then. But for the most part, I'm letting what I catch go so I can catch it another day. Now, let's talk about pricing. Like I said, this knife right here, I paid $5. The Kershaw's right here, I paid about $20. You can find them between $10 and $20, depending on what kind of sale Walmart has at the time. Um, now, you can find fillet knives all the way up into the $100 range. And if you're the type of person that fillets a lot of fish and you're really good at it 
and you think, oh man, I gotta have this $100 fillet knife, you know what, more power to you. Because you're the type of person that needs that type of fillet knife. But for me, my Kershaw knife works just fine. Everybody I know that I fish with uses a Kershaw $20 knife. My brother-in-law, my uncle, all my friends, no one buys high-end knives. Is it nice to have them? Yeah. But do you absolutely need them? No. So at the end of the day, you need to remember one thing. It's more important to get out and fish and do it than it is to spend a whole crap ton of money just in the gear. If you want to hit the bank, you could very easily hit the bank, catch your own fish, and fillet your own fish for less than $50. Don't let anybody tell you that you need to have any more. Because a Walmart rod and reel combo, a Walmart knife, some Walmart tackle is just as good, in my opinion, as anything else. Because at least it gets you on the water and enjoying this wonderful sport that I love so much. So thanks for watching the video. I'm going to keep it short. There's really only so much talking I can do. we are uh, got a new family member coming here to On the Creek in a few weeks around Thanksgiving. And I will make sure that we do a reveal on who that family member is. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of vlog stuff on the channel so far. I keep it pretty much strictly fishing. But uh, I, I'm really excited about this and uh, I'm going to be excited to introduce our new addition to all of you. So stay tuned for the exciting news coming up. Uh, we expect our new edition will come home around Thanksgiving. And we're really hoping that uh, all the planets align and everything that happens that we need to happen so that that is true. But uh, something that's going to happen eventually. So come back and check us out, guys. And remember, get out there and live. Thanks a lot, guys.